Hi everyone, welcome to Baby Cook That Thing. Today on Baby Cook That Thing, we are making lamb in a red wine sauce. Sauce. I have never been more excited for a dish in my life. Check it out. Start off by adding no more than half a tablespoon of oil to a pot on high heat. Then start adding your lamb neck pieces. You can really use any kind of lamb you want, uh, but just give it a hard sear. You want to hear a hard sizzle. This is 1.1 kilo or two and a half pounds of lamb neck. Ideally, you do this in batches if your pot isn't big enough because you don't want to overcrowd your pot, but I'm a busy man, very, very busy. Not really, I'm just impatient, so I put it all together, but whatever. While your lamb is searing, start chopping up two medium-sized onions. They don't need to be too fine because they're going to be cooking for like three freaking hours, but uh, just get them about half an inch, a centimeter long. Check on your lamb, and when you see that it's got a beautiful golden brown crust, turn them around to sear the other side. Uh, they're still going to be raw in the middle. We're not trying to cook them. We just want to get a quick sear so we can get that roasted meat flavor. Once they're nice and golden brown, remove them, and you should see that your pot will have a large amount of beautiful rendered lamb fat and brown lamb bits stuck to the bottom. That is what we want. That's how we're going to fry our onions. Put them in that oil with all that good stuff. Lower your heat to medium and uh, give everything a good stir. Let it fry for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally till your onions turn translucent. You see, just like this. This is the time to start adding the rest of our ingredients, which isn't so many. Uh, we'll just start off with crushed garlic cloves. Just crush them with your hands and add about five to six big cloves. Uh, dried bay leaves, uh, three to five dry ones, or you can add two fresh ones. That'll work as well. Uh, now, smoked paprika. Add about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon's worth. Uh, that should be plenty, I think. Yeah, tablespoons are good enough. Uh, cherry tomatoes, two handfuls of cherry tomatoes. Um, that's what you want to do. You can add more or less. It's up to you. Remove the green bits if you have any. Now, start stirring everything like Crazy. We want to mix all the flavors together to, uh, to get the, yes. Also add salt, by the way, if you need to. Uh, once everything is very well incorporated, let's grab a bottle of red wine. Now, I can't stress enough, you don't need a fancy bottle of red wine, okay? Don't believe people that tell you that. Mine cost just $7, and the sauce turned out amazing, if I do say so myself. So add everything there. You see, you can start to see the dish come together, all those little uh, beautiful colors. Uh, after you add the red wine, scrape, scrapey, scrapey, scrape. You want to get all the brown bits from the bottom into the sauce and turn the heat to high, cover it up so that we can bring it to a boil quickly. Once it's boiling, remove the lid and let the wine reduce by half. This does two things. It not only evaporates the alcohol, it also intensifies the red wine flavor. Get your lamb pieces back in the pot after the wine has reduced and make sure it's all coated in the sauce. Taste the sauce also, see if it needs some salt, which mine did. Uh, and then add boiling water to just cover up the lamb. It doesn't have to be boiling, uh, but we're, we want to bring this up to a boil, so it'll just save some time if you just add boiling water from the get-go. Once it's boiling, stir everything well and lower your heat so that it's just at a simmer. Put the lid on, and we're going to let this go low and slow for about three hours. Optional step, you can add some time. Not necessary, but I do like me some time. I tied it up in butcher's twine, so it's easier to remove later. Uh, make sure it's all submerged in there, and then lower the heat, as I said, as low as it goes. So we have a little simmer for about three hours. Then look at this beautiful succulent lamb. Uh, that's what happens after three hours. But if you want to take it to the next level, thicken up the sauce a bit, which is what I did. Add a heap tablespoon of flour, dissolve it in a couple tablespoons of water. Uh, while I'm doing this, by the way, I let the sauce boil and reduce by half. Added my flour and uh, let it cook for another five minutes. And look at this thing of beauty. Ooh. What? Oh my, I need to be, okay. I need to calm myself down. I need to calm myself down. This is so, oh my God, it's so good. I can't believe how good this is. You absolutely, this is the best out of all the videos I've done so far. This is the freaking best, the best. You need to make it. Now, 
please like this video. Uh, I'll try to keep it more normal next time. Not as crazy, but this is so good. I couldn't help myself. And uh, comment down below if you want some other recipes that like stuff like this. See, all the stuff I make for the most part is kind of simple, so you should comment for this type of stuff. And also, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification so you know whenever I upload another one of these. So until next time, baby, cook that thing.